Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero! And this week the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of time. I have to say, harnessing the power of time is a little trickier than I expected. We can't see time, so it makes it hard to measure it. My sundial didn't work when it was cloudy. The lunar calendar worked for predicting what happened over a month. But it wasn't much use for telling me when I can have my next cookie. I mean, when I can fight crime again. That's right, the superheroes, not super hungries. Anyway, so I need something which will help me measure a short, accurate amount of time and be the same every single time. When we pick something to help us measure time, we need to choose something that happens at a steady, predictable rate so that it's as accurate as possible. And as scientists, we try and make things as accurate as possible, but sometimes there are things or an experiment which make them a little bit less accurate. So I've got an experiment which should let me measure small amounts of time more accurately. And this one doesn't use the sun, instead it uses water. For this experiment, you will need an empty plastic bottle with a lid, scissors, a stopwatch, a marker pen, blue tack, a thumbtack or a pin, masking tape or some ordinary tape, and some water. Start by taking your plastic bottle with the lid on and cutting off the base. I find it easier if you put some masking tape around the part that you want to cut because it will stop your scissors from sliding off. Perfect! Now take the top end and take the lid off and use something very sharp I'm going to use a thumbtack here to make a very small hole in the centre of the lid. Next, screw the lid back onto the bottle and test that the hole lets water through by putting a tiny bit of water into the bottle and seeing if it can run through the hole. There it is, it's running in, perfect. Okay, that works. If you find that it doesn't run in there, just make the hole a little bit wider with your pin. Easy peasy. When you're happy that you've got it to be the right size, use a small piece of blue tack to plug the hole so that the water can't drip through quite yet. And you might want to tape the ends down for safety as they may be sharp after you've cut them. And so next you want to take your top lid and place it upside down into the bottom of the water bottle like this. And this is going to be your water clock that's going to act like a timer. Now we need to calibrate it so that we know how much water runs through that hole in a certain period of time. So, pour your water in, and now you want to mark your water line, which is right here. So we want to time how long it takes and how much water moves in a period of time. So I'm gonna set my timer to measure 10 seconds, and then as soon as it does, I'm going to see where the water line has moved to. And you're going to have to dip your blue tack out at the same time you start timing. Right, now I'm just going to use a stick to help me get to the bottom because I've put a lot of water in here. And start. You can see the water is coming through. That's six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds, ten seconds, right there. Okay, so now I have another line. And you're going to keep doing this on your water clock. Every time you see 10 seconds go by, make another line. And then another 10 seconds. And eventually you can calibrate. Here we go, that's my 30 second point. So keep measuring and keep measuring until you have a fully calibrated water clock. Okay, now for the moment of truth. If this water clock is accurate, then it should take exactly the same amount of time to empty the second time as it did the first time, and every time after that. Right, I will need the help of my teeny tiny timekeeper, Nano Nano Girl. Let's get her out. Okay, watch this, Nano Nano Girl. You're gonna keep an eye on the time right here. So, we're gonna fill the water up to the water line, and that's the original line that we made right there. Okay, Nano Nano Girl, get ready to start timing. Are you ready? Here we go. We're gonna move the blue tech out, and the water runs in. And let's see what happens after 10 seconds. 10 seconds, and it's exactly where it needed to be on our clock. That's amazing. Okay, Nano Nano Girl, did you see that? We're gonna get to 20 seconds, and 
Look, it's exactly where it was last time. That's perfect. That means that we have made an accurate water clock and the experiment is a success. Now, it's one hour until I'm allowed another cookie. So that will be 360 more of these lines. Oh, that's a long time. I mean, 360 lines so I can fight crime. Yes. Right, I'll see you again tomorrow. That's in about 8,640 of these little water clock marks. That's a lot. Okay. One, two, three, four. Come on, can you go any faster?